I have several fabulous things to talk to you about today. I have a huge, very, very exciting announcement. This is a personal thing. It has nothing to do with handbags. Well, it does have to do with bags, but I'll explain that, but not what you're thinking. And then the other thing is I have two unboxings. They're handbags. One of them is Coach and the other is another brand, but they have something in common, which is why I'm doing them in the same video. And they kind of had something in common with this huge announcement, so stay tuned. Hi YouTube, Autumn Beckman here. Welcome to my channel, or welcome back to my channel. My channel is all about luxury living on a budget, from high-end luxury handbags and small goods to the everyday luxuries of life. If that sounds interesting to you, please make sure you subscribe, click the bell notification icon to be notified when I post new videos, and be sure to like the videos that you enjoy. And one of the perks of subscribing to my channel is you get to see my community post in your YouTube homepage, where I post deals, discount codes, sales, and rare finds, related to these beautiful things we love. I'm not gonna make you wait for the big news. I'm gonna tell you right up front. So if you've been following my channel for a while, you may be aware that my sister and her husband for the last, I don't even know how many years now, I'm gonna guess maybe, maybe six or seven years, have been fostering children. And part of the reason that they've done that is because they want to adopt at some point when that's possible. And some of you may know that they had a boy and a girl come into their lives. I think it was around November of 2022. Now I have some bad news, but then I also have some amazing news. I'm going to share the bad news first. And there's not a whole lot I can say about it, but let me explain. The bad news is that they don't have the girl with them anymore. Uh, the reason for that, I can't go into details because she's a minor, so I can't tell you exactly what happened. And I really would rather not mention it at all, except that if you know the situation, you know that there were two kids and I know people are gonna ask about it. So in a very general sense, what happened is that, unfortunately, she was making some decisions repeatedly that were unsafe and potentially very dangerous. So since the state is responsible for foster kids, ultimately, the state decided to remove her and put her in a different situation where she could get more focused help for what she was going through. And we hope that she's getting that. And we hope that at some point she'll be able to return, but we don't know what the future holds. The amazing news is that in just a few days, my sister and her husband will be adopting the boy. They've finally reached a point in the court system where this is going to happen. They've been waiting so long. This will be their first child. Everyone is so excited about it. And I wanted to be sure to share that news with you guys because I know that some of you have kind of been following that and have been interested. Some of you have asked me about it. So I knew you'd want to know. And that's amazing news and I'm so happy happy for the three of them. I also want to say that next month, my sister and her husband are going to be throwing this huge celebration where they live to celebrate the adoption. And what they're doing in lieu of gifts, because he, trust me, he has everything he needs. Y'all should have seen Christmas. We did opening Christmas presents over Zoom because we're in different states. And he got so many things, not just from like us and my sister and her husband and our mom, but all kinds of other people. Like he's got a huge network of people around him now that are taking care of him besides just family. So what they're doing in lieu of gifts is taking donations to get duffel bags with supplies for children who are in foster care. And I think this is such a great idea. It's through an organization called Foster Love and I'll have the link below in case you're interested in donating. I've heard a few stories over the years from my sister and her husband about things that they have heard, not just about the kids they've had in their home, but about other kids. Most of us grow up with some sense of normalcy. When we think of a kid that's been abused in some way, we tend to think of like physical abuse, maybe verbal abuse, some other kinds of abuse that we hear about often. But you wouldn't believe some of the stories that we've heard. Like you can't even fathom it because it's not in your realm of reality of the absolutely awful, unbelievable situations that some of these kids come from. And often when they are removed from wherever they've been that's 
so unsafe. Even when they go from a group home into a foster home, they usually don't have any kind of bag to put their things in to take with them. So they're generally given a garbage bag to throw their clothes and whatever personal items that they want to take with them into. I mean, I don't know about you, we, look, we're handbag people on these channel. Bags are important to us. Can you imagine being a kid that's in a horrible situation, being removed from a home, even if it's abusive, it's all you've known, and just being given a garbage bag to put your stuff in? It's not the most dignified thing in a situation that's already bad. So to make it at least a little bit better, what this organization does is provide these foster kids with this duffel bag and they're hand painted with all kinds of cool stuff. And inside that bag, they get a blanket, they get a hygiene kit, they get a teddy bear, and they get a coloring book with crayons. A $30 donation will get one of those duffel bags with all the stuff in it. $60 would get two and so on, but you don't have to donate 30, like that's not the minimum. You could donate $1 or $5, or you could donate, you know, $5,000, <laughs> whatever. But I thought that I would mention that to you guys because I know a lot of you have been interested in this and I know you guys well enough now, like your, your spirit in general, that you are good, generous people. And if you can help with things like that, that you want to. So I wanted to offer that as an opportunity in case you wanted to make a donation. So I will have the link below. And I love this idea that you know exactly where your money's going. It's not, you're just donating a random amount and you don't know what's happening to your money. You know exactly where that $30 is going and what the child on the other end is getting from it. And I will say this, the way that they accept donations is you set a goal and so my sister has set the goal. If it gets to a point where that goal is reached, we're not sure yet if it will still take more donations or if it stops there. So if anybody wants to donate and you have trouble with the link and you're not able to, please let me know. Just leave a comment or email me, autumnbeckman at gmail.com. I'll have that below too. And I can have her set up a second donation link if that's necessary. So that's the huge exciting news and we're just all really excited about it. Now let's get to these two unboxings. Oh, and I was gonna say too that 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 donation of the duffel bag is also kind of appropriate for the channel because you're buying a bag for someone so it's a perfect tie-in okay let's get into this box this is this there's a card here and it says it's from Portland Leather. The bag is in here. This is a brand new bag from them, like a brand new style. And when I saw them drop it, I thought, well, that's really unique. I wanna try that out. I'm curious about this because I saw somebody post one that they received the other day and it was kind of misshapen. So let's see, it is the heart bag. This is called the Valentina from Portland Leather. And I got the black one. They released it in black and a pink tulip color. And I don't know if these are still on the website. I know when they first dropped them, they sold out, but I heard they were restocking them. So if they are still available, I will have them linked below for you. Yeah, and mine's a little messed up looking. See how it's indented there and there? It shouldn't be like that. There's the front, it has the three trees stamped on it. Like that's kind of bent there, it shouldn't be. This is kind of crushed up here. And then this is sticking up, but they have it stuffed. So maybe when the zipper is zipped, it'll go down more to look more like a heart because the outside is not all that heart shaped right now. There is the side, the back, it's stamped Portland leather. It's also a little bent there. The other side, that's indented, okay. Not really impressed so far. With the stuffing out, here's the inside of the bag. The crossbody strap is just attached to one side, and I'm sure that's just so it doesn't get in the way of the zipper when you're going to open it. And it has two zippers. So when it's zipped all the way, it is more heart-shaped, so that's good to know at least. But I really don't like that it's so indented. I'm, I'm not impressed with this. I think I'm gonna be sending this one back, so I don't even wanna unroll the strap there, but it is crossbody. It's not removable, but it is adjustable. And I feel like it's pretty spacious too. Here's my iPhone 10, easily fits. Here's a Louis Vuitton Agenda PM. Even that fits. My Zippy coin from Louis Vuitton. That fits, I can still close it. So I have those three things. I can put my keys in there. And that's about all I would carry in a small bag. So it holds all that, that's impressive. But yeah, this one's gonna have to go back. Normally I would say with indentations like this that I could just put stuff in it and it would pop back out and it wouldn't really matter. But in this case, because it's a shaped bag, I'm not gonna have things in it that 
fit just right in that bottom part of the heart to be able to fill it out. So I feel like it's always going to have those indentations. I'm not okay with that. So that's an unfortunate one. And now let's see what I got from Coach. This is a bag that I think was released about a year ago, maybe a little more than a year ago. And I got it pre-loved. That's why it's not in a Coach box. When they first released this bag, I was really interested in it. And a lot of my friends bought these and I was really tempted to get it. But then I thought it's so different from anything in my collection. I feel like I would never wear it or maybe I'd wear it once a year. I was like, no, I'm going to restrain myself. Well, all this time later, I still love this bag every time I see it. So I looked for it on the pre-loved market and I found it at a great price. They have since re-released this bag on the website. So it is currently available in this exact model and size, but also in different sizes and different colors and some different textures. It is the coach quilted heart bag and now you see why i put both of these bags in the same video which i don't usually do and since they are still selling these on the website i will be sure to put the link below not only to this one but to the other options as well now i will admit i have already peeked at this bag because i've had it for a few weeks and i know i'm keeping this so i'm going to go ahead and unwrap it and then i'll show you the details so here it is all unwrapped i do want to say two things relating to coach my last two videos have kind of focused on coach and on one of them where i was talking about some coach bags being luxury quality, at least in my opinion. I want to clarify something that a few people took from that video. What I want to clarify is I was not saying that Coach is a luxury brand because I do feel like they are a contemporary brand. I feel like they are squarely in that space in terms of labels and how brands are perceived. What I was saying in that video is that some bags that Coach makes, again in my opinion, are of the same quality as some bags from some luxury brands like Louis Vuitton for example. This is a bag that from what I understand and from other people is a great example of a coach bag that is comparable to Chanel. Now you guys have probably seen the Chanel heart bag very similar to this. This bag came out after the Chanel heart bag. I would assume was modeled after that bag. I have never personally seen the Chanel heart bag in person so I can't speak to this but I have seen some videos where people have had both bags in person and compared them and said that they preferred the quality of the coach bag. I can tell you this is exquisite. When I'm talking about coach bags that are luxury quality, this is one of the great examples of that. The leather is beautiful, the craftsmanship, it's so soft, the structure of the bag, I mean, there's no comparison to the Portland Leather Goods bag. That particular bag was really terrible quality compared to this. This is amazing. I also want to say that Connor from The Closet by Connor just put out a video responding to one of the videos that I did about Coach being luxury. And I watched his video and I loved it. I thought he made some very interesting points. He made intelligent arguments. And Connor and I both know that we have very different feelings about Coach, but we're respectful of each other in that. He was very respectful in his video. So I wanted to be sure to mention that to you because if you were interested in my video, I think you'll also really be interested in his. So I'll have that linked below as well. And I highly encourage you to go watch it. So now let's take a peek at this bag that you've probably already seen a hundred times, but let's look at it anyway. Here's the front of the spectacular, so soft. I love just touching this thing. Quilted coach bag. This is my only quilted coach bag. I did have the quilted coach tabby which was officially just released. When they did the runway, I got my hands on one of the runway pieces. And personally, I didn't like that when it was just too structured for me, but I'll link that video below in case you're interested in watching it. There's the back of the bag and the other side and the bottom, which is not smashed up. How nice is that? Little C that on the black bag anyway is less visible. I know some people don't like the giant C's. This has two zippers, just like the Portland Leather Goods bag and just like the Chanel bag, I believe. And it has that gunmetal hardware. Fuchsia Floyd, Eva, she has this bag and I watched her video and a few other friends' videos before I decided to buy this. And something that she pointed out is that the zipper gets caught right at this point. And that's because, I'll show you what's inside there. On the other side, it does it on both sides. Let me get the stuffing out. By the way, like I said, I purchased this pre-loved, but it's in brand new condition. The person never used it. All right, so inside it's gusseted on the side. So the zipper goes all the way to the bottom and it just has that leather piece where there's no zipper. When you're zipping it, the zipper gets caught on the gussets there. So that's the only annoying thing about it, I think. And some people wouldn't like that it has two zippers, but I actually do like that. So the inside of the bag, 
bag has the story patch on the back of the bag. And then on the inside of the front, you have a little card pocket, but otherwise it's just open with the burgundy leather interior. So let's see if we can fit as much in here as we did in the Portland leather goods bag. There's my iPhone 10 that fits like that. Not sure I'll fit the agenda PM in there. That seems like it's pushing it, but oh, it actually does kind of just barely, but it does. So that's great. The zippy coin that's going to get really tight and keys going to be pushing it a little bit, but it looks like I can, can I? Yes, I can get it closed with all that in there. Fantastic. It also comes with a crossbody strap, very long and very adjustable. It has five little grommets there to adjust. And notice they do have metal grommets on them, which is another little luxurious touch that you don't get with a lot of bags. Even a lot of luxury brands don't do that. You have gunmetal snap hooks on the ends and these do swivel. So here's the bag on me on the middle setting. And I think that works perfectly. That's great. I love it. I'm really glad I finally got this. My biggest hang up with this two things, I guess. One, I'm not really a heart person. I've just always, like since I was a kid, thought this kind of heart shape is overused. I don't know, a little cheesy. So there's that, but also the fact that it's an oddly shaped bag. How often am I going to wear a heart, but also how often am I going to wear something that's such a weird shape and that's a little more difficult to use because of that? And those were my thoughts when this bag first came out. But then a few months later, this came out and I bought this and I thought, well, now I have no excuse with the heart. So I love the Rexy bag so, so much. I've carried it quite a few times. So I thought, well, why not? Because I have been conscious about starting to add more interesting and playful, fun bags to my collection that are less practical, but I know I will still use them and incredible quality. And in case anyone's wondering, it does come with a little coach hang tag, but it didn't come with the ball chain to attach it. I don't really care. That, but I'll keep it anyway so I have it. So remember to watch Connor's video. If you're interested in either of these bags, they'll be linked below. And also if you're interested in donating a duffel bag to a child in foster care, I will have that link right at the very top because I feel like that's the most important of all the things we talked about today. It's certainly the thing that would make the biggest impact in another person's life. So thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. If you decide to donate, I thank you in advance and my sister does too. Hope to see you back here next time and I hope you have a fantastic day. Bye.